attention to all the dingbats and wigwams. I'm fucking back. I'm a true human being. I exist in myself and everything. I exist within myself and without myself. I exist to exist. I exist in nothing. I'm the reaction of everything that came before me. I'm the material of everything that comes after me. I'm the effective force and the cosmic force. I'm a human being. Okay. <laughs> Are you filming me? Don't do it. <laughs> Very good, Blake. Are you excited for it? Oh, you're still filming. I thought it was over. Are you excited to see Stove tonight? Stove, rub my back. My dreams will come true. <laughs> Yay! Hi guys, we're hanging out in the <laughs> Mexican grocery store today, waiting for Steve to get here. He's gonna come real soon. We're here, and I have pancito. Oh, that's my favorite food. Delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hi guys, it's dark out. We're driving to see Stub Ruggin. How do you say his name? Rub, rub my dick. Strav Struggin Strax. We're super excited. He's, you gotta listen. Um, the sun is setting, and it is a beautiful <laughs> day. And we have horchata, and we are drinking it through straws. Just saying. Okay, we, we made it to the place. Blake really has to poop. I'm Where so dark. He? Oh, <laughs> hey, so I dark. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he really has to poop, and so we don't know what we're gonna do. There's real houses here, and it's gonna be really fun. Oh my god, this guy's wearing khakis. I'm, we're still at the house. Blake still has to poop. It's miserable here, you guys. <laughs> and, it's awful. And we're too scared to open the door, so we're just gonna sit here. Right? Shh. Okay. Shh. Yeah. I don't know where I am. Where the hell am I? What the hell is this? What are these? Oh my god. <laughs> Did you get it all out, Blake? Are you okay in there? Yes. Okay, good. Guys, I have a secret. I just met Steve Roganbuck, real life, in person. Blake found a bathroom. He's pooping. And I'll show you the door. It's, it looks cool. Look at the door. Oh my god. Blake, are you okay in there? No. <laughs> you can do it. Ra ra, fight the power. He'll be fine. We'll go and we'll go see the poetry soon, as soon as he cleans up his little bum. You said I reminded you of your mother and like her. 
I can only love you when you are in the exact center of the space that we are in. Styles were also on sale at the time of purchase. He was going to buy two or maybe three, but he thought he should keep it simple for now. He Hello! <laughs> Who's fucked up? Woo! Wisconsin, this is my third time performing in Wisconsin. Your great state has been very good to me. <laughs> Sitting under a tree, I got shit on by a bird. I didn't move though. Patience. Ten minutes later, I got shit on by another bird. <laughs> It's important. Uh, okay, one more short little dazzler for you. Uh, this one is called, I decided to bring my poop to a restaurant. I'm in Hardee's and I can smell my poop. And that's the end of that one. Okay, enough joking around up here. I have a poem, I have a story about uh, wanting to have Will Smith watch me have sex. <laughs> um, did any of you write a story about that? <laughs> I'm not going to read that one. Um, <laughs> I got a, I'm going to read this other one. Um, this is low. <laughs> and I, okay. I'm finding You're my just way. really tall, see? I'm finding, I'm not that tall. <laughs> I'm a normal size, I think. Normalization. Normalization, that's true. Okay. Um, how's everybody feeling? I just gotta tell you something. But I don't have anything to say, so I have things to say. I'll think of things. Don't worry. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh this one, I'm on tour right now. I came here over I over I was in Minneapolis, I took an overnight bus to Chicago, and then I was sitting in the train station for a few hours, and then I took a bus back up here. Because y'all have a rare city to get to via bus. It's kind of mm -hmm. cool. It's a little tricky. You got that Van Galder bus, though. I fucking love that Van Galder bus. <laughs> Story is called, Attack My Dad with a Bunch of Candles. There's a sick fuck named Glenn. Glenn likes eating pulp from juicers. It's weird. I don't trust him. <laughs> Anyhow, Glenn has a problem. He loves the moon sexually, romantically, whatever. He wants to have its babies. Ooh, Glenn writes love letter to the moon all the time. They say, shine your hot ass light down on my broke ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke for you. Wow, come on, Glenn. Get it together. Are you serious? Anyway, one day, Glenn's pals, Connor and Pippin, come over to play. <laughs> they shoot at Glenn with BB guns, and he runs around saying, Don't! <laughs> it's their favorite game. At night, they sit around the fire saying their deepest secrets on life. Pippin says, I have a pet baby. I got a baby human that I use as a pet in my home. Wow, unexpected. Kind of dark. Connor says, I love getting whacked with bamboo paddles on my neck. Before anyone can fully react to that, a dead clown falls out of a passing helicopter and lands very close to Glenn and Pippin. Ah! Glenn turns around and immediately says, I need to go buy tortilla chips now! Then, suddenly, for unrelated reasons, a bison appears, charging directly at Glenn. Ah! Glenn shouts again, but then Pippin uses his wristwatch to stop time, saving Glenn. What? What? How? I don't know. I really don't know. But stay with me. This has got to get resolved somehow. The end. This is Steve. He's my friend now. Whoop.
You can't see us because it's dark outside. But he's truly here. Help! You can Help! See his Wait, what did Mike want you to ask? Oh, um, our friend Steve, who showed us you introduced us. How do I drive my us. Chevy Malibu to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> you can try all you want. <laughs> Just in, news just in, you can't get to the moon in a Chevy Malibu. They are inept. I didn't say he couldn't. They are inept. I could, I didn't, you could, you might, you might. You can try all you want. Uh. Okay, uh, verdict is still out. I asked him. I'm just starting the nice one. I just started the nice one. So when she said, the white. Just tell me, tell me that you remember Creamy Frick Boy. Is it going? Is it going? It's truly going. You no, know, my heart goes out to little Creamy Frick Boy every day of my life because we bond. It can't be taken away. Not even God could take it away from me. Take it out of my cold, dead hands, God. This is what she wants. Resuscitated and it was like fine. Sort of. That's pretty weird. Pretty much Horses do that too. When horses have babies, they just kick them until they stand up. Well, usually it doesn't take very long, but that's. Research why this happens. Actually. Yeah. What is, what is your doctoral thesis on this? Elephant <laughs> ass plunging. <laughs> Carb up and stay fricked. So Eat, Eat more carbs. Eat more carbs. Eat more carbs. Thanks so much for the ride. Of course. Safe travels. Have fun in Michigan. There he goes. One wild boy alone onto a bus. A beautiful wild boy getting on the bus. I'm a human being. I am existing here with you. I am existing outside of me in you. I am existing in you. You exist in me. We exist infinitely. We exist in each other. We are just human beings.